Hello and welcome to Electric Bike Report. My name is Pete and this is a Surface 604 Colt electric bike in for testing and review. This is a sort of a commuter slash touring slash adventure riding bike that uh, is based off of a mountain bike platform, but it's got uh, smooth tires for uh, efficient riding on road and maybe some gravel roads. Um, some of the highlights are the Suntour suspension fork on the front here, the aluminum frame with the uh, integrated uh, 48 volt lithium battery in the down tube there, the rear rack that's welded right to the frame as well as a lot of other accessories that come stock on the Colt. The 500 watt geared rear hub motor from Bafang, as well as the torque sensor based pedal assist system, as well as a throttle. And then there's the Shimano Alivio 9 speed uh, drivetrain and the Tektro uh, hydraulic disc brakes. So, uh, a lot to cover here. Um, the, the bike retails for $19.99, and that includes uh, free shipping. And uh, this is a video overview that uh, will provide you some of the, the basic info on the bike, but you can check out the full review at electricbikereport.com. And there's a link to that in the notes for this video. So, make sure you check that out. But with that, let's get into the details. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the 6061 aluminum frame. This uh, has some hydroform tubing that's been shaped to provide uh, strength where it's needed, as well as a nice bit of uh, just overall rider fit and uh, battery integration. So first of all, here at the head tube, you can see the top tube uh, tying in with the uh, down tube here and uh, just a lot of weld connection here to the head tube for a nice uh, strong connection there at the high stress area of the frame. And uh, just looking at the tubing here, you can see that the top tube has sort of a tra uh, trapezoidal look to it. And the down tube is uh, somewhat square, but also has sort of a rounded uh, lower part. And right there, you can see the internal cable routing that uh, is really nice just for cable protection as well as a cleaner looks for the bike. And then taking a look at the down tube, you can see how that really swoops down and uh, provides a nice bit of uh, standover height for, for the rider. So um, this, are, this is a nice detail for sure. And then uh, here's a look at the uh, battery integration. And uh, this is a great placement for the battery because it's centered and low on the bike. So it really helps with the overall balance of the bike and handling too. And uh, taking a closer look at the seat tube area. So you can see that uh, Surface 604 bikes are designed in Canada. And there's the weld from the top tube to the seat tube and then the seat stays right there. And then that's the seat post quick release. So you can open that up and vary the height of the seat post and close that. Uh, so it's very easy to adjust the seat post height. And then there's the welded uh, attachment of the rear rack, which uh, this is a really nice feature of the Colt is the uh, integrated rear rack. It has a nice platform on the top for attaching uh, bags or strapping items to. And then uh, there's the smaller rail just below it for attaching panniers and bags and uh, similarly down here there's uh, also that uh, smaller tube attachment for those bags so uh, this is a really nice detail to have the rear rack just welded into the frame uh, makes it very sturdy so uh, and then down here this is uh, where the uh, torque sensor attaches it's the rear dropout and uh, talk a little bit more about that as we get into the drive system but uh, overall some nice details on this frame and uh, yeah, just uh, good to see uh, solid connections everywhere. So on the front of the bike is the Suntour XCT suspension fork, and uh, this provides 80 millimeters of travel, or a little over three inches of travel. So it's a nice uh, fork for taking the edge off of rough roads, and uh, has a nice active feel to it. And uh, here at the top is the lockout dial, so you can uh, lock out the fork if you want to. If you're riding on, say, pretty smooth roads and you want a really efficient ride, you can lock out the fork so it doesn't uh, bob up and down. And then uh, over here is the preload dial, so you can adjust the spring rate of the fork to fit your uh, weight and riding style. Okay, let's take a look at the drivetrain. So first of all, there's the Welgo platform pedals. They have a aluminum body with a rubber grippy surface and uh, reflectors on both ends here. Then there's the Samox uh, crank set, and this has the hollow axle design, pretty modern style crank set with a 42 tooth chainring. And uh, then there's the nice uh, chain guard here that uh, really protects your pant legs from the chain um, and goes all the way back here to the uh, cog set area and this is a Shimano 9-speed cog set it has 11 to 34 tooth uh, range on it and then the Shimano Alivio uh, rear derailleur that shifts through that cog set and uh, right back here 
it's kind of hard to see, but uh, there's the Bafeng 500 watt geared rear hub motor that uh, has peak power of 750 watts and uh, has a nice compact size that uh, really just blends in well with the overall look of the bike. Now this is a class two electric bike, so it provides assist up to 20 miles per hour in both um, pedal assist mode or throttle mode. And uh, what's really interesting is that um, the Colt, uh, like other Surface 604 bikes, uses a torque sensor. It's a little hard to see there, but just to the right of the cog set is the torque sensor that is uh, part of the, um, the dropout here. And uh, what it does is it really just senses your pedal power and provides the proportional assistance um, based on your pedal power. So um, it really just kind of follows your lead. So if you're just sort of soft pedaling, it'll go pretty easy. And if you go um, pedal very hard, it's going to give you a lot of assist. So it's a pretty intuitive ride feel. And uh, it's definitely one of the highlights of the Surface 604 bikes. So there's five different levels of pedal assist and there's the throttle option too. Okay, let's take a closer look at the battery pack here. So this is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium battery pack with Samsung cells. And uh, this is the optional upgraded pack and it adds $200 to the bike. The stock battery is the 48 volt, 10.4 amp hour. Now here at the top of the battery pack is the uh, uh, battery level indicator. So you just push this button and you can see the lights there at the top. And there's also a battery level indicator on the display on the handlebars as well. And uh, over here, this is the um, USB charge port for charging a smartphone or tablet or other USB device when you're out and about. So on the left side of the bike is the battery lock and uh, you can unlock the battery with one of the supplied keys. There's two supplied and uh, then you just rotate the battery out like that. And uh, here's a closer look at the connection point and locking mechanism and then the down tube here and then that lower connection point. And then to reinstall the battery, basically the same in reverse, just line it up down there at the bottom and uh, click it into place here at the top and uh, take the key and then just double check and make sure the battery is, is securely installed there. So here's a look at the battery charger plugged into the battery here that's been removed from the bike and uh, plugs in the lower left side there and uh, the battery can be charged on or off the bike and uh, charge time from empty for a full charge is between three to six hours and that really depends on if you use the stock battery which is the 10.4 amp hour or the optional uh, larger 14 amp hour battery. So another highlight of the Colts is the use of the Tektro hydraulic disc brakes on the front and back as well as 180 millimeter rotors on the front and back. Uh, right here you can see the rotor is attached to the Bafang geared rear hub motor there and uh, you know these uh, hydraulic brakes have a very solid engagement feel, uh, a lot of power, and uh, they modulate that power very well too. So definitely another uh, highlight for the Colt. So the Kenda Cranium uh, 26 inch by 2.1 inch tires are used on the front and back of the bike. They have a nice uh, smooth tread pattern for an efficient ride, um, as well as some channeling to help dissipate water. Okay, now let's take a look at the ride position. So first of all, the handlebars uh, have sort of a mountain bike style to them. They're uh, relatively flat with uh, a slight bit of rise here and uh, slightly curved back, but uh, in general, pretty uh, flat handlebar style. And then the stem is adjustable, so you can adjust the angle of the stem uh, from basically a flat position that's maybe a little more stretched out to one that's more upright and kind of closer to you. So you can really uh, dial that in to fit your, your riding needs, and that's a nice, uh, nice stem to have on a bike like this. And then uh, coming back here, this is the Selle Royale uh, gel saddle, and uh, has a nice uh, mid-width profile for a pretty comfortable ride feel. The Colt comes stock with the Promax seat post here, but uh, Surface 604 offers a uh, SR Centaur suspension seat post as an optional upgrade if you want to add a little bit of suspension to the bike. And that's a, it's a nice way to smooth out the ride a bit more. Okay, so let's take a look at the control center on the Colt. Um, this is the left side of the handlebar, and uh, there's a grip here with a, a little bit of a wing on the end, and it provides uh, wrist support. Then there's the front Tektro hydraulic disc brake lever, and then this is the thumb throttle. And uh, this can be, uh, you can add a bit of boost to the pedal assist levels, or you can use it on its own uh, without pedaling if you want to. 
and uh, there's a lot of variability as far as how much power you get so you can really fine tune it uh, for you know the riding that you're doing and then there's the uh, control pad here so the plus and minus buttons cycle through the five levels of pedal assist and then there's the uh, light button that turns on the front and rear lights uh, that run off of the e-bike battery and then the I button cycles through information on the display. And then the uh, on off button, you hold this down and the display lights up here. And you can see that the display uh, has a bit of color to it. It's a nice uh, bit of style for the Colt. Up here at the top is the battery level indicator. And then this is the current speed. And then this shows how much power the motor provides. Uh, we're not moving right now, but when you are, uh, it's, it's cool to check that out. Um, then you've got your trip distance and then your odometer. And uh, this is the pedal assist level. So currently in one, and I'm using the plus button to go up to pedal assist level five, and then the minus button to go down to pedal assist uh, one and then zero is no assist at all. Um, so then uh, I can cycle through information on the lower right, which is your max speed, your average speed, uh, ride time, and then odometer again. And I'm using the I button on the control pad to uh, cycle through that. But overall, it's really nice to have that color display uh, mounted center on the handlebars. It's easy to read the important info at a quick glance. So just under the right side of the display is a USB port, so you can uh, charge a smartphone or other USB chargeable device from that port. And there's a rubber cover here that uh, protects it from the elements. So on the right side of the handlebar is the uh, bell that comes stock with the Colt. Then you've got the Tektro hydraulic disc brake lever for the rear brake, and the Shimano 9-speed shifter, and then the uh, ergonomic grip. So another highlight of the Colt is the full accessory package. So this is the front uh, LED headlight that runs off of the e-bike battery. So you don't have to worry about uh, charging separate batteries for the front or rear light. And uh, here is the bell on the handlebars and uh, full coverage plastic fenders on the front and the back of the bike. And uh, then you've got the full chain guard here to help keep your pant legs clean. And then that rear fender there and the uh, integrated rear rack is welded right to the frame for a super solid attachment. The rear light is attached right to the back of the rack there and uh, it also runs off of the e-bike battery. And then there's the kickstand here that uh, the length is adjustable so you can uh, adjust the angle of the bike when it's parked. All right, so that is the video overview of the Surface 604 Colt. Make sure you check out the full review at electricbikereport.com, and that includes a bunch of detailed pictures, specifications, ride characteristics, range test results, pros, cons, and overall thoughts. And there's a link to that in the notes for this video.